in a saucepan I have two cups of mixed berries and these are frozen mixed berries so I have frozen berries and I'm gonna add a squeeze of orange juice just a little bit an orange <clears throat> now we remove the zest. And we're going to bring this to a boil. I'm also going to add some fruit pectin, a half a teaspoon of fruit pectin and we're going to stir that in real quick and this is how I make my jams jellies and jelly fillings for donuts and pies I usually use date syrup though All right, so we're gonna gen gently add the jam through a strainer. And then we're just gonna press it down. We really want this to remove all the liquid. we can transport the jam inside here, a jar. Come it up in here. And there we have it, our mixed berry jam. It's still warm, so I'm gonna let it cool down with the lid open. And then you also will be left with a berry syrup you can reduce this down and make it into an even more thick syrup or you can use it this is delicious on pancakes super good maybe we'll make a berry pancake tomorrow and i'll show you how to do it with this syrup but we'll see otherwise put this in a jar and leave it in the refrigerator you can put some vinegar to preserve it. Okay. There you go. Mixed berry syrup. Mixed berry jam. You can make it strawberry, cherry. You can do anything. And we'll do a few more recipes on that coming up soon. Okay. All right, thank you so much everyone for watching and staying tuned for another recipe, another adventure, and another video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.